The 199th St. Patrick's Day Parade in Savannah is just eight days away, and tonight we are remembering the Grand Marshal of the 1973 Parade. The St. Patrick's Day Committee is honoring him with a special ceremony. WSAV's Kyra Jones was there. Aloysius Handybo Jr. was elected Grand Marshal for the 144th St. Patrick's Day Parade. 50 years later, he is remembered by those who say he was a man that loved the Irish and loved Savannah. Friends and family gathered at Hillcrest Cemetery on Thursday to pay tribute to a true Irishman. 2023 marks 50 years since Aloysius Handybo Jr. was Grand Marshal for the 1973 parade. Thursday, the parade committee honored his memory with a look back on his legacy. Mr. Hannibal was a man of faith, first of all, and he was a family man that did, was always doing for his family and for his faith. He was in church on a regular basis and he could not do enough for his family. Family was very important. Known to most as Al, he was the first Grand Marshal to name a parade chaplain, which is something that is still being done to this very day. Nora Sweat recalls what she remembers most about her beloved grandfather. Always prayed. Everything was green. The cars were green. The house, every, furniture was green. Everything was green. Big Irish people all the way around. Um, March 17th is also my grandmother and my grandfather's anniversary because they got married on St. Patrick's Day. Al passed away in 1992, but he's still being remembered today as someone who touched the lives of so many. Father Patrick O'Brien, chaplain of the parade, says it is important to never forget. Take five minutes as the committee said this afternoon and go by and visit the graves of our loved ones because we can ask ourselves where would we be without them. The popular song It's St. Patrick's Day in Savannah was written by Handy Bo's father and introduced at the 1952 parade. It has continued to be a parade staple in the Irish community. Kyra Jones, WSCV News 3 on your side.